Sarah, what are you doing right now? Who, who is this? It's Jay. I ran into Kate earlier and she told me I should reach out to you. Jay, you're back in town. Only for the weekend. So yeah, what are you up to? I'm, um, uh, going on this dumb camping trip. I'm packing for it right now. Oh, that's too bad. I'm headed to this big party tonight and I wanted to know if you would join me. Uh, well, it sounds like a much better time than getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> But I, I can't bail on Lauren. She practically begged me to go. Are you sure I can't change your mind? Sorry. We could get together tomorrow night. All right. I can make that work. Let's meet at the Dutchman. 8.30? I'll be there. Have a good night, Sarah. You too, Jay. Yeah, baby! on a date. <laughs> He's had a crush on you since like ninth grade. Really? Yeah, come on. All these years and he's never said anything? Oh, he's just shy. I mean, he had a lot of doors open up for him after graduation and he got a job right after college. So, you know, I guess he's just riding high on his confidence boost. Meds in the car. Do you want me to come with you? No, it's fine. It's just down the path. I'll be back in a few. So I yell at this old woman, I'm saying, get down, get down. This crazy fucking disco queen starts dancing. <laughs> Bullshit, no way. I have my weapon drawn. This lady starts dancing like she's fucking at her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have another uh, lager. And uh, can I get a Coke? You still don't drink? Not really. Besides, I'm DD tonight. For what? We're 
going up to this party up in state. You're going to a college house party? Yeah. You're 27, man. Yeah, but Seth said it should be fun, and there's old frats that we get in without a cover. Except you have to drive, so you can't drink. Yeah, but I don't really drink anyway. Who's all going? Me, Seth, Danny, Charlotte. Oh. What? <clears throat> Nothing. What? I was going to ask why you still hang out with those guys, but you say Charlotte's gone. It makes sense now. They're not bad guys, you just never gave them a chance. Didn't they leave you duct taped on the football field in high school? It was sophomore year. And Charlotte? Seth and Charlotte are back together. So, that's not what we're hanging out. Right. Whatever, man. I, I, I gotta go. Now, it's on me tonight. Thanks, man. Dude, we gotta go. Where's Seth and Charlotte? I don't know, man. They're probably upstairs, you know. Keep playing. Oh, no. Hang on. Fear me! sick and went to the bathroom. a good guy. I always take care of me. We gotta get out of here. They're coming to get us. Who? Alien invaders, man. No, the 5 O's outside. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> what the fuck? Get back, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, Andy. Stop being such a party. <laughs> yeah, Andy. Have a little bit of fun. I am having fun. You guys are just a lot tonight. What are you saying, Andy? You can't handle all of this? <laughs> that, that's it. You nailed it. You know, Andy, we still like you anyway. We know you got no game. Yup. We know you're a weird dude. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Seth. We even know that you're uncircumcised. No. <laughs> but damn it, we like you anyway. <laughs> no, Andy's such a sweetheart. He's driving us around. It's so cool. Andy, oh. you'll find love one day, Andy. You, Charlotte. 
Whoa, 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 Andy, Andy. Pull up over here. Why? Because I fucking said to. I saw something. What is it, man? There's something out in these woods. What, wait, what? It's 3 a.m., you're not going out there. Come on, Andy. Can't you just let us have a little bit of fun without ruining it? We're gonna go out there, look around for a second, and come right back. And if there's any big feet out there, I'll bash their brains in, hit them right out of the fucking ballpark. Way out there. Come on, Charlotte. I don't know. It's really dark. I'll protect you. Okay. No, 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 no. Not you, Andy. Why not? Someone's got to watch the car. We'll be right back. Late. I know, there was a lot of traffic out there. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. I thought it was weird too. In other news, two women were found dead this morning at a campsite near Unami Creek in Pennsylvania. Their bodies were found beaten and bloody with multiple stab wounds in what police are calling one of the most gruesome discoveries in Pennsylvania history. Hiker Bill Layton discovered the body of Lauren Miller in plain sight on the trail near the girl's tent. Responders then discovered a second body, that of Sarah Dunn, in a tent less than 150 feet away. Police reported that they have brought their main suspect, 26-year-old Jay Bauman, into custody. Police say Bauman, a local insurance salesman, made phone calls to Sarah Miller earlier that evening and 
had been asking Miss Miller's friends about her the morning of the crime. Unami Creek is just three miles from Bauman's home. Hey, Dan. I got this catering order. It's gonna take me about an hour or two. Any chance you mind helping me out with this? No, I, I, I promise I'll meet up with some people later. Really? Yeah. I, I've been covering for you. Every time you're late, every time you show up out. You can't help me now. No, man, I'm sorry. I, I, I promise that. Hey, man, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Okay. Hey. Hey, man, I said I can help. Come on.
Call me so late. You're not a cop, Andy. I know. I'm just trying to find some answers. Just let them handle it. What's your problem, man? I'm just saying, don't get in the way. What are you talking Would about? Would you two stop? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm just a little shocked right now. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I think we're all a little shocked. It's cool. Let's go, Charlotte. I'll take you home. Hey, you! You're coming with me! Madam. Yeah. Yeah, it was in fifth grade. He was such a tyrant, it was kind of hard to ignore him. I met him in high school. Yeah, but it was always the same Danny. I mean, he was destructive, he was dim, but he was, he was just funny as hell. Hey, you remember when we were working at that restaurant and Mr. Blasio came in together? <laughs> and Danny dipped his nuts in his clam chowder. And, then, and he just screamed there, saying, Oh, my boys! My boys! <laughs> Singed his pubic hair right off. <laughs> what a goof, man. What's with you, though? Time like this, can't drink a beer? Is that really your top priority, officer? I'm just saying, you know, have one for him. For Dean. Nah, man. Doesn't seem right. Your call. So what do you think happened to him? Not supposed to say. So, you know something? 
Nothing, definitely. Well, what is it? Well, I mean, you know Danny had his issues with drugs. Oh, uh, what, you think that, that was some drug dealer? Makes sense. He runs with a rough crowd, man. Down in the city all the time. You mess with those dudes, they will kill you and your entire family. Nah, man, that doesn't seem right. Look, that's what it's going down as. And honestly, man, maybe it's for the best, you know? Uh, dude, are you, are you fucking kidding me? I'm just saying. So then Danny deserved to get mutilated? No. Well, no. Well, then what are you saying? Just that Danny wasn't going anywhere, man. Oh, uh, fuck you. No, listen to me. Danny was a druggie. Seth is a druggie. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if Charlotte's into that stuff now, too. Look, what happened to Danny was hard. But that's what happens when you live that life. When you don't grow up and don't take some responsibility for yourself. So what are you saying? You gotta ditch those others, man. Whenever you have a chance at something, it's always, oh, Danny this, oh, Seth that, oh, Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. I, I get it, dude. I get it. I've always sort of seen you as a kid brother to me. Give me a break. You're a year older than me. Yeah, but look at yourself, man. What are you doing with your life? You keep trying to live the glory days with those guys, you're going to find out the glory days weren't so good to begin with. Thanks for the soda, man. You got it. It's gonna be okay. What are we gonna do? Seth, what are I'm we- I'm thinking! Give me my pills. I need to relax. We have to figure this out. Can you just give me the fucking pills? Jesus! Okay, we have to find the thing and take it back to where we got it. What thing, though? It was a square thing. I don't know. Don't yell at me. I'm trying to help. <sighs> okay. Okay, after the woods, what happened? I don't remember. Andy dropped us off. <sighs> Fuck. Jesus, Charlotte. We need to find the thing so whatever happened to Danny doesn't happen to us. Maybe we should ask Andy. No. He was the only sober one that night. He might I know said what no. happened. We have to figure this out! Shut up! Look, Andy is nothing but a pretentious spaz. He thinks he's better than all of us. He can't help. Now go up there and try to find it. I'm gonna look at my place. If you can find it, call me. Got it? Hey. Love you. Seth. 
What did you do? Not you, Andy. Why not? Someone's got to watch the car. We'll be right back. What the fuck is this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's some thing we found in the woods. Found? We were drunk. Found, took, it doesn't make any difference. It does, Seth. It really, really does. Because whoever looking for it, CIA, cartel, whatever, had Danny killed. It's not and now it's a threat to all of us. It's not the CIA or the cartel. How do you know? Because I just fought the fucking thing. Well, then what is it? It's some alien thing. Jesus Christ, dude, if you're gonna lie, at least be believable. I'm not lying. All right, so where is it? It ran away when you fucking showed up. Right. What did I just say, asshole? It picked me up by my neck and used this thing to push me back. Whatever. Let's just 
Get this shift turned over to the cops. Let them deal. You insane? The cops won't care. So what do we do then? We take it back to where we got it. That was two hours into the woods. You guys were all fucking drunk. Do you really think we'll be able to find that? Well, going to the cops won't help. All right, dude, whatever. I'm not playing this game with you right now. I'm taking this, I'm going and checking on Charlotte, and I'm turning this to the cops. Oh, I see. What? That's what this is about. Your little macho man thing. What are you talking about? You're just trying to look like a tough guy in front of Charlotte. God, dude, you are so fucking pathetic. She's out of your league, man. Get over it. Your friend's in for life. Have fun playing with your temple hearts. Andy? Drew, I need you, man. What's up? I need you to go to Charlotte. I, I think something bad's gonna happen to her. I can head over soon. I need you to go now and bring backup. Sh sure, man. No, no problem. Is she okay? You know, she's fine. I mean, a little startled given the whole Danny thing, but she's good. Okay. Say, uh, does she normally wear that much makeup? What? So, you, you check the front yard, backyard, inside, everything? Yeah, we're on it. We're taking care of everything, dude. We? Where's your backup? Over here. Are you serious, man? Yeah, man. The Danny's dead. Something attacked Seth and... Some... thing? Yeah, he said it was a... I don't know, it was a, it was a thing. Something like a dog, a mountain lion? He said... He said it was an alien. 
So you want me to take this seriously, but then you're telling me we're supposed to be looking for an alien? I don't know. He had bruises all over his neck. Probably a little kinky stuff. Some auto erotic asphyxiation, maybe. <laughs> he wasn't jerking off, he was attacked. By an alien. I wasn't there! Hey, do you have any proof other than what Seth said? Yeah, I, I have this. What's that? A flash drive. It was lit up earlier. Anytime. No, hold on. It's gone. What's gone? The... Nothing. <laughs> Look, man, I'm trying to help you. I really am. But I can't do shit like this every time you or Seth or whoever thinks there's an alien invasion. Listen, Dan Danny dying is tough. But we're out here trying to do a job, okay? So just let us do it. Come on, Drew. Dutchman closes in an hour. And listen, this this whole Charlotte thing, it's not healthy. You should come with me. Nah. I'm gonna hang back. All right. Just think about what I said. He but wouldn't even check up on you. You got a hold of him? Yeah, I just came from his house. What? Is he okay? He was acting weird. He was talking about aliens and he, he had these bruises. I don't know. My mind's so fucked up right now, I don't know what to think. We have to go to him. He could be in danger. Seth's fine. Okay. I'm here to protect you. I need you to tell me what happened last night in the woods. Please, Charlotte. We, we were walking through the woods. Danny and Seth just wanted to give you a scare leaving you by yourself, but... But? We came across this light. It was sticking out of the ground, so Seth and Danny tried to get it out. And they kicked and they pulled at it, but the thing wouldn't budge, but it wasn't getting damaged either. It was so weird. Finally, Seth was able to break it off. And? We heard this horrible noise coming from underneath us. It was something I'd never heard before. Something was suffering. Crying out in pain. I told them to put it back, but they ran off, so I followed them. And now Danny. 
Andy, I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. What the hell? It's nothing. That's a huge bruise. I've had worse. God knows I can take a punch. <laughs> you know, you don't have to put up with this. Says a dick. He's not that bad. He's sweet when he wants to be. Yeah, when he's not practicing Muay Thai on your face. <laughs> You're a nice guy, Andy. Andy, what are you doing? I... I just... I just thought...
Andy, we gotta go. Come on. Give me your hand. I'll help you up. Are you ready? I think I'll take that beer now. <laughs> <laughs> 